Hey guys, and we just unlocked some more stroll events, so let's get right into it and get through these. So there's two more. It's called Why a Festival and I Want Glasses. So let's jump right into this one. And there's also a request that we can do. So third floor concession alley at the Leftover Deli. First the haunted house, now the outdoor festival. Ugh, this is a this is the craziest culture festival I've ever heard of. I guess anything goes now. Why a festival though? Not saying I don't like festivals, but first was Alice in Wonderland, then a group date cafe, a haunted house, and now a festival. There doesn't seem to be any pattern to the theming. Then what the hell does it all mean? I believe it's just a bit premature to judge. We don't really know what this place is to begin with. I thought it was just like the Tartarus with the shadows around, but this ain't no dark hour. And it ain't no world inside the TV like you guys were talking about, right? Oh. Yeah, none of us got here by coming into a TV. However. Though the place does share some similarities to the TV world. Like the lobby we enter through the Junez TV, this ordinary culture festival, serves as a culture hub, Junez. The display that have been the labyrinths are like the victim locations that stem off from it. Hmm, so those displays are like Princess Yukiko's Castle and Kaji Sana. Asana? What's up, hey, they don't gotta know about that stuff. The sharpest difference from the TV world though is that there are no victims here. In the TV world, each location is formed from the emotions of ones dropped inside. At the center of these locations, we were we would find we would always find the victim along with their shadow. If this place was the same, we should have found people like that. Yes. Precisely, but what we found out thus far aren't people but objects. The first one was a rabbit doll. The second was the toy ring, and the third was a lock of hair. The those sound like stuff a grade school kid would have, but we haven't found any grade school kids here. We're not ready to figure this out, I think. But that's what we're investigating for, right? We'll get it eventually. Yeah, that makes it easier. I would ask that you would use your head a little more, though. Huh? Right? Alright, you pass some times with your companions. Alright, one more. Let's check it out. We have I Want Glasses! Mega Bay! <laughs> Second floor display hall. Teddy, Mitsuru, and some others are having a heated discussion about something. Hmm. Revisiting the subject of glasses, I'd like you to give it some serious thought. Hmm. You mean using our glasses in the dark hour thingy? Yes. Correct. Moving about during the dark hour is more draining than it is in everyday life. You mentioned feeling a similar exhaustion when you first entered the TV world. Yes, we did. Without Teddy's glasses to see through the thick fog, we get very ill, very fast. <laughs> My craftsmanship save the day! I didn't know, or I don't know if those glasses would be effective in the dark hour, but it's still worth trying. Mm. But even though this place has shadows too, we're okay without those glasses. True. See. What could be going on here? Well, <laughs> there's no way I turned down a request from Mi-chan herself. Ta-da! Ta spare glasses! <laughs> you what? You have a spare? Excellent! I'll try them on at once and... Those frames. You still have more of those party glasses? I make tons of spares for my best design. Those frames have a nose guard on them, which makes them very useful. A nose guard? Hmm. They help lighten the mood, too. Is that so? Still, this is simply... Well, if it will make our forays into Tartarus more uh, comfortable, I'll gladly wear them. Hey, nice to see you guys here. Jinpei has stopped by. For some reason, he's already wearing the party glasses. Oh, you've got a pair of those party glasses too, Mr. Senpai? <laughs> Wear a matching set then, hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, Teddy. Uh, I'll have these taken apart and analyzed. You're not gonna wear them? There's no reason to. I see no reason to wear them here. What if these don't have any effect in the dark hour? That's not, that's not my responsibility. Alright, I actually wanted to see her wear those glasses. You enjoyed some time with your companions. Alrighty then. Very cool. Very fun little events that we had. Alright, so we are going to start this request. It uh, is find out what Zen wants. So we are going to accept this request and jump right in. So 
from Ray. This request comes from Ray. However, there appears to be special circumstances around it, so I'll be reading the note from her in her steed stead. All right, Elizabeth produces a piece of note paper. Hi, it's Ray. Thanks for accepting my request. In order to express my gratitude for to Zen, I've been planning on giving him a present, but I have no idea what would make Zen happy. Could you help me find out what he might want? I want to give it to him uh, soon, so I'm putting in a time limit on his request. T Y S M. And that's and not at all it says. Elizabeth put down the note. I believe the acronym at the end stands for thank you so much. So she has an av avant grade sense of language now. Back to the topic. Don't you think this is a touching request? Oh, I wish Theo would learn a thing or two from her. Well then, I will teach you the art of surprise so that you have a better chance of success in your endeavor. When you start the conversation, try to use indirect questions. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Make sure not to ask the same question too many times or your goal will be too obvious. And lastly, if you're about to catch on, keeping your silence is effective, though it should be a last resort. That is all I can teach you. I hope your knowledge will come in handy. Ray is waiting for you somewhere in the school. I wish you the best of luck. You should try going on a stroll and talking to Ray. All right, let's go check that out. We are gonna go and hang out with Ray. So jump onto the stroll and Operation Presence is a go. Concessions Alley at the third floor in front of the leftover deli. You see Zen and Ray sitting in some nearby chairs. Before you talk to them, you remember what Elizabeth said to you about surprises. She said, one, ask indirect questions, two, don't ask a question repeatedly, and three, stay silent if things look bad. Do you wish to begin? Think about it again, go talk to Ray. Immediately. You approach Zen and Ray. Oh, hey, Kankun. What a coincidence. I did not expect to see you here. I am having something to eat. Ray is acting very suspiciously. Ray Chan, calm down. You're going to choke on your food. Yeah. I have to calm down. I have to chew, swallow, sleep, grow, brush my teeth, and you get you a pres- ah! <laughs> uh, You should try to ask Zen what he wants before he gets too suspicious. Is there anything you want? Hey, what do you think about fall? Hands up. Who wants a present? <laughs> hey, what do you think about fall? I think about all the good food that's in the season, and then I think about what, um, how hungry I get. Is that true? Doesn't that mean you're just thinking about food? Um, your turn, Zen. What do you think about fall? Well, let me see. Fall is the harvest season. It is a time in which organisms grow, ends up, and uh, growth ends, and they're reborn into something new. What? That was long. I don't know if reincarnation exists, but the cycle of death and birth is a crucial part of the world. But fall is all about sweet potatoes, chestnuts, and pumpkins. I see. I do not desire food as much as you do, Ray. So, what do you want then? Um, I suppose I desire a better equipped for going into the labyrinth. Oh, that's it. Really now. You yeah, have given information you wanted. This might be your opportunity. Try asking Zen for what he wants without making him suspicious. The options are, so what equipment? Um, so you want equipment, right? So you don't want food. Is attack and defense more important? Uh, is attack or defense more important? Yeah. Defense. Fighting isn't important to me. All I want to is grant Ray's wish to leave this place. Zen. <laughs> and armor isn't as important to me as the things you would call accessories. They have special functions that do more than just reduce the damage that you take. Picking the right equipment is all part of the strategy, which is why I leave it to you, leader. If there's any equipment that strengthens me in any way, I would like you to let me use it. Accessories, how about a collar? Just as a random example. A collar, I suppose it would be a good to have equipment that I'm already used to wearing. You learned Zen wants a collar accessory. <sighs> wow, now I've got out of um, now that I've got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Um, got what out of the way? Ack! Um, this is nothing, it's just, um, um, you've been acting strangely for a while. What exactly is going on here? It looks like you're in a pinch. What will you do? Uh, by the way, hey, what's that? Hey, by the way, uh, what are you trying to hide? Oh, crap, I fucked up. He's even more suspicious now. Uh, it looks like you're in a pinch. What will you do? Uh, uh, silence. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, I see. It's Theodore, isn't it? Huh? I would assume you accepted a request from Theodore to ask everyone what kind of new equipment they would like. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go with that um, because that's what it is. Uh, we just wanted to have a conversation instead of taking our survey. Sorry. I see. I apologize for inquiring. It's okay. You did tell us what you want, so it's a-okay. <laughs> Phew. It would seem Zen has misread the situation. In any case, it looks like you've completed the request. Perfect. You should report to the nurse's office. All right. So let's report to that. And so we go to the nurse's office and... We jump on in, uh, and then we check request and report, and we accept it. Voila, St. Marie. I've been waiting for you. Ray has given me another message for you to read. Ahem. Elizabeth picks up a note. Thanks for helping me with this request. I wonder if Zen really is tense. I thought we gave it away once or twice there. I'll give you a reward with Re Elizabeth. It's all yours. Um, I'll try to make it the collar by myself. T-Y-S-M. And that is all it says. Elizabeth puts down the note. Now then, this is your reward. Please accept it, if you will. You receive the Stama Reverse. I believe it's your duty as leader to, leader to watch over that awkward couple. I, myself, would like you to keep an eye on them, if you could. Perfect. So now, we get the XP, which... <laughs> It's just an absurd amount of XP. And now I got now a new move. Awesome. Uh, Garento has upgraded to Gokuento. Awesome. And now... Nice! Ray has leveled up. Nice. Now we have Life Goblet. Awesome. And now they are going to level up. Alright. Akihiko. And there is Mitsuru. And there's Ken. And one more. And there's Komaru. <laughs> and that is all. Alright, but that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.